Do you want winners or do you want performers? These days we seem to be rewarding the wrong people all too often. We aren't rewarding thinkers. The type who can recite Milton Friedman, make a persuasive argument about environmental policy, and persuade moderates to vote for us. We're rewarding the loudest voices who scream and yell and shake their fists about fighting for you. In reality, they're just putting on a show. You should learn to tell the difference. In reality, they fight for themselves, for their fundraising. I'll be honest with you, I'm more feel fearful than ever that us on the right, we sometimes look on the, like those on the left. It happens when people get frustrated with losing, engaging in cancel culture, peddling grievance and victimhood, engaging in emotional reasoning, looking for reasons to be angry at each other instead of productive and persuasive. This is the hard truth and we need to recognize it. We need to recognize those who in public do that and don't reward them for it. The good news is there's a path out of it. Strategy's hard, just like real fighting is actually hard. It takes strategic thinking and wit. It means engaging in arguments with well-conceived, airtight logic. Trip them up, fact check them. Know their arguments better than they do. Anticipate them. It means presenting our case with not just our base in mind, but also a moderate audience in mind across all different platforms. Because our goal is to convince more people that our positions are right and persuade people outside of our own tribe. Fighting to win means actually understanding conservative principles and understanding how those principles make for superior government and superior solutions. It means going to schools and universities and going on liberal media. It means calmly and intelligently having a debate on campus, not just showing up, trigger the libs, and provoke people. Servitism is indeed a winning message if we deliver it with intellectual honesty and confidence and pride. We don't need to hire principles or policies for moderates, as many have done in the past. But instead, just explain why they work, explain why they're right. We need to get into the debates on the tough issues like environmental policy, healthcare, immigration, and especially on culture and cultural issues. 